Hello friends, today I am going to talk about how to merge two arrays without duplicate values in C-sharp. Excited? Right? So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. How to merge two arrays without duplicate values in C-sharp? We can merge two arrays without duplicate values in C-sharp using the union method. Here we'll see three types of arrays merging. These are merge string arrays, merge number arrays, merge object arrays, right? So if you see these examples on over here, merge string array. So here two string arrays are there, right? So first one is the fruits and the second one is the vegetables. Fruits are having elements apple, mango, guava, orange, grapes, and banana. Similarly, vegetables a string array are having brinjal, potato, onion, cabbage, and banana. And if you notice banana is common fruits also and the vegetables also right but when we are going to use this union method only the distinct value we are going to get it so basically we are not going to get the duplicate values when we are merging two arrays okay so how to merge that so for this we do have this syntax fruits dot union vegetables dot two array what i'm doing we just need to write the first string array then dot union and then we are just passing this string vegetable array inside this union and then finally i'm just going to use this two array method so it will return the merge distinct array that we are storing into the all variable of the where type similarly if you see this merge number array we have two int array int num1 and int num2 int num1 is having 1 2 3 7 9 10 value similarly int num2 is having 4 5 6 8 and 10 value if you notice 10 are common in between these two right so when we are going to get the merge number arrays, we are going to get 10 only one time because we are going to get the distinct, right? What is the syntax for writing the merging two arrays? Similar syntax. We just need to write the first integer array. So int num1 dot union and then we are passing the int num2 array inside that and then we are using this two array method. So it will give the all merge number. So what the value are we are going to get? We are going to get value 1, 2, 3, 7, 9, 10, 4, 5, 6, 8. So 10 is not going to taken from the int number 2. Okay. So basically, it doesn't matter from there where it picks. But the thing is, we are going to get the distinct value from the two number arrays. And that's what we are going to get the output over here. Merge object arrays in C sharp. Merge object arrays in C sharp. If an array contains object of a custom class, then there is a need to implement i equitable generic type t or i quality comparer generic type t let's try to understand with the help of examples shown over here so there is a class named imply that is implementing i equitable imply interface and we have three auto implemented properties imp id of in data type first name and last name of the string data type so there are two methods equals and gate has code in equals we are accepting imply object and then returning as a true false value based on this check what is the check first name dot equals obj implied dot first name and last name dot equals obj implied dot last name if both are matching then we are returning as a true value otherwise it is just going to return false value and another method we are having get has code it is returning in data type okay and here what we are doing we are just finding get has code imp id dot get has code and then bitwise exclusive or operator and then first name equal equal null then zero otherwise it's just going to fetch this get has code of the first name similarly we are doing for the last name also last name equal equal null if it is null then it is just going to return as a zero otherwise it is just going to fetch this get has code and finally get has code is just we are going to return it from this method whenever we are going to merge object array right so we need to use this i equitable and i equality comparer interface and when we are implementing these two interface we need to provide this implementation for these two methods right that's what we have given now if you see there are two imply array obj imply array one obj imply array two obj imply array is going to contain two imply details new imply so basically what we are doing we are just creating an imply over here with the first name sneha and last name jan right similarly the second one is the james and last name is the medina right if you see this obj imply array 2, here we are creating two imply. 
The first implies having first name as a Raj and last name as a Malhotra. And second implies having details. First name is James and last name is Medina. If you notice, in OBJ imply array 1 and OBJ imply array 2, this imply is common. Right? First name James and Medina. Here also the first name James and Medina. Right? And when we are going to combine those things, we are going to get the distinct, the final merged imply array. Right? And that's what we are going to get. So what the output will be getting? We will be getting Sneha Jain, James Medina and Raj Malhotra. The fourth one, it is not going to get considered because we are just considered from this OBJ imply array one, right? And how, what is the syntax for that? Syntax is the same. We need to use union method for that. So what I have done, OBJ imply array one dot union, OBJ imply array two, and then we are just going to use this two array method. So it is just going to give as an array and that we are storing into this variable merged imply array right and once we are getting this array populated then we can iterate it using the for each loop and then we can print it or maybe whatever the business functionality we need to perform we can do so that's all about the merge object array in c sharp let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action so here we are on visual studio what i have done i have created one console application merge to arrays demo as program.cs file in program.cs file, I have written code for showing the demo for the merge string arrays demo, merge number arrays demo, and similarly for the merge object arrays demo in single program. Okay, okay, let's review the code one by one. So here for the merge string arrays demo, what I have done, we have two string arrays, fruits and vegetable. Fruits are having value apple, mango, guava, orange, grapes, and banana. And vegetables are having elements, brinjal, potato, onion, cabbage and banana if you notice banana are getting repeated in both the string arrays okay but when we are going to use this union method we are going to get the distinct value we are not going to get duplicate value right and what is the syntax for that i have written fruits dot union vegetables dot two array what i am doing over here we are just need to write the first string array and then we are just going to use this union method and union method i am just going to pass this parameter second string array right and that's what i have written vegetables and then dot two array so it is just going to return as an array so this final array we are going to have the combination of both the elements from the both the string arrays and that we are storing into this all of the where data right right now what i am doing i am just going to print what is the length of that particular array right so a string array length all dot length so I'm just going to use this length property of this array so that it will give the count how many elements are there in that particular string array that we have created after merging. Okay, so those things I'm just going to print it. And then what I'm doing, I'm just going to iterating with the help of for each loop for this merged string array, right? So one by one, this value is going to get printed into this console window. So that's about this merge string arrays demo. Okay. Similarly, I have written for the merge number arrays demo. So here we have two integer array, int num1 and int num2. Int num1 is having value 1, 2, 3, 7, 9, 10. Int num2 is having value 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. And if you notice, tens are being repeated in both the integer array, right? But when we are going to use this union, we are going to only get the distinct, right? So no duplicate value. In the merged integer array right that's what we are going to get the output what is the syntax similar syntax first we need to use this first integer array then we just need to write union method and pass the int num2 which is nothing but the integer array of the second list right so int num2 and then finally we are converting into two array and finally the merged array we are storing into this bad type all merged number right and then what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to write this sorting thing. So whatever the number is going to get stored here, it is just going to get sorted. So once we are going to print it, it will print it in the order wise, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like this, it should get printed. And that's what I have used this array.sort method. Okay. And in here, I'm just passed this final merged number, right? That is nothing but the combined of these two integer array right? and then i'm just writing what is the length arrays is having so that's what i'm just using this length property of that particular array 
so that it will give me the length and that i'm going to print into this console window and finally i am iterating one by one from the all merge number array and then it is just going to print into this console window we would be able to see the output into this console window for each member of that final merged integer array right now if you see i have written merge object array stem so here before looking into this statement we just need to understand what is there in this imply class right so if you notice i have written this imply class as i said earlier that whenever we are going to perform merge object array we need to implement i equitable or i equality comparer interface here i have used this i equitable imply here we have three auto implemented properties imp id first name last name right and then we have implemented these two methods equals and get has code equal method what is doing it is just accepting imply as an object and then returning true and false value based on this check so what is the check first name dot equals obj imply dot first name and last name dot equals obj imply dot last name if both are matching then it is just going to return as a true value otherwise it is just going to get return as a false value here what we are doing here we are going to get this get has code right so imp id dot guess get has code and then here what i am doing i am using bitwise exclusive or operator right and then we are checking for the first name first name if it is null then it is just going to get return zero otherwise it is just going to fetch the hash code for the first name similarly we are doing for the last name also if last name equal to equal to null then it is just going to return as a zero otherwise it is just going to get the hash code for this last name right and final we are just going to return as a end value so that's what we need to implement in this imply class and then finally what i am doing I have written this statement merge object array is demo over. so that from here I'm just going to show as a demo as a merge of the object array. how we are doing that it's very simple we are doing the similar fashion so here we have imply array right obj imply array 1 and obj imply array 2 obj imply array 1 are having the four imply details whereas obj imply array 2 are having only two imply but if you notice the last imply details of the obj imply array 2 is matching with this obj imply array one right the first name james and medina here also james and medina both are matching but when we are going to merge this object arrays we are going to get the distinct value so first name last name jan akanksha deepak and james and then raj and it is just going to not consider the second time also this james because we have already considered from this first imply array itself right so what are the value are going to get it we are going to get the distinct value so there is no duplicate value right and how we are going to merge those things similar we just need to use this union method so first we need to write this obj imply array one dot union and here we are just passing second object array which is nothing but the obj imply array two and then finally i'm just going to use this two array method so it is just going to return merged imply array that we are storing into this variable and I'm just again counting this length. I mean, how many elements are there in this merge imply array? So I'm just using this length property and then printing into this console window. And finally, one by one imply details, I'm just, you know, fetching and then I'm just printing the first name of that particular imply. Okay. And that's what we are going to see as an output. Let me execute this and see the output on the console window. Okay. Okay, so output got appeared into this console window. If you see this merge string arrow, so the items got printed here apple, mango, guava, orange, grapes, banana, brinjal, potato, onion, and cabbage. And if you notice, there is no duplicate value, right? Banana was there in both the string array, right? So fruits are having this banana, and also these vegetables are also having the banana, right? So when this you know final uh, merged statement got executed so only we are going to get the distinct value and that's what we are able to see here in this demo right so we are having apple mango guava orange grapes banana brinjal potato onion and cabbage how many elements are there a string array length just going to display as a 10 if you notice this fruits fruits are having one two three four five six and vegetable brinjal one two three four five six five eleven because banana was getting repeated in both the string array so it's just going to get considered only one and that's what the value are we are able to see as a 10 right similarly for this number array right
right number arrayed length got printed as a 10 and we are able to see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and if you notice here in this uh, number array we are having 10 repeated in both the integer array but it is just consider only one time when we are going to merge with the help of the union so that's what we got the array without the duplicate value and we have seen right so we have these two array when we merged so this is the output we got it right here if you see i got the output this one uh, object array length is equal to five if you see there are six six imply four implies were there in obj imply array one and two implies were there in obj imply array two but if you notice when we merge and print the first name i got only the five imply first name sneha akansha deepak james and raj because this james medina james medina were getting duplicated when we are going to merge it right so it just got removed when we are going to use this union method and that's what we got this object array length is equal to 5 so there is no duplicate value right that's the beauty of the union method that enables us to merge two arrays without duplicate values right so now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we show how to merge two arrays without duplicate values in c sharp program we also witness the examples how to merge string arrays how to merge number arrays and finally we saw how to merge object array of the custom class right? that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video